in my head, it just was, it wasn't worth, where's it? I just, I love these and this is something that I'll continue to repurchase. Repurchased. This is something that I'll continue to repurchase. What the fuck, are you serious? I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. And the other, why can't I talk today? You couldn't smell them and then you couldn't. <coughs> I have allergies. <sighs> I just ate it. If I, you guys didn't even ask. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Am I forgetting stuff? Maybe I'm not forgetting stuff. I'm not forgetting stuff. I have everything. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Ivana and welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I have a huge haul to do and this is a big haul. So get food, get a drink, get coffee. You guys know me. If it wasn't so early, I'd have wine. But I'm trying not to drink too much wine. Because I go from one glass to two glasses to three glasses to the whole bottle and that's just poor self-control This is gonna be a long one So grab some food grab a drink grab something and if you guys want to see all the things that I got there is a mixture of hair care makeup Skin care clothing shoes accessories. There's just a lot of stuff. So this is a collective haul This is all things that I've gotten for like between like the last few months like I would say like two months So it's not just like I bought all this stuff all at once Let's go ahead and get into the video if you guys want to see what I purchased then keep on watching So I'm just gonna start off with the biggest thing that's on my table right now and it is the Redken color extend shampoo and conditioner So I was shopping on Ulta like two weeks ago I would say and I was just looking at stuff like I was just looking seeing what I needed seeing what I wanted and I saw that they had these Big, you guys see how big this is. This is massive, a huge bottle. These shampoos and conditioners for $14. Now, if you've been watching me, you guys know that I use the Verb shampoo and conditioner, the volumizing one from Sephora, and that's 14 bucks, and it's about that big. So these are normally, I think, like $35. I got them for 14, both of them for 14. So under $30 for both of these is so good. I used to work in a salon that we sold Redken. We sold Redken, Joico, Sebastian. We sold a whole bunch of stuff. And these were like 40 bucks a piece. So when I saw these on sale, I was like, bitch, yes. And I put them right in my cart. They smell good. Um, they're color extend. So they're really good for color treated hair. I get so many questions about hair care. And I'm going to do an entire hair care video. Thumbs up this video if you guys do want me to do that video or if you want to see it. Because the amount of questions that I get asked about hair care is insane. And like the same way I did my skincare video where I was very honest, very like blunt about everything i feel the same way about hair care so if you guys want to see a video just let me know but i will link these down below i'm not sure if they're still on sale but if they are i'll definitely link them so you guys can see them so i'm not going to go in any particular order because there's some stuff like they're just from all over the place but the next thing that i have is the milani make it last setting spray and this is a prime correct and set 16 hour wear setting spray i've seen this on youtube a lot and also my best friend uses this and everyone raves about it everyone loves it but I don't know what it is. For, because this bottle is so small, I didn't understand why it was worth $10. Like, obviously, like, other setting sprays are bigger than this. But they're only, like, I don't know. I don't know. In my head, it just was not worth $10. Until finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Because what if I do end up loving it? And the main thing that I love about this is the smell. I... I feel like this smells like a perfume or, like, a clean soap or like a clean cleanse something clean it just smells really clean and i'm very big into scents most of you guys know that i purchased this and i've used it a few times you can see and honestly i haven't noticed a huge difference because i haven't worn my makeup that long throughout the day for the past like couple of weeks but i purchased this and let me know if you guys have tried this down below and if you like it what your thoughts are all that stuff Next we have some Sephora collection coconut cleansing wipes. These are my favorite cleansing wipes from Sephora They're very gentle on the skin. They don't make me feel like I'm like tugging and ripping on my face I like the smell of them. I don't like the smell of coconut, but I really like the smell of these They don't smell like coconut to me in my opinion. They just smell like clean Wipes I purchased another one of these I go through these all the time. I use them on clients I use them on myself. This is something that I'll continue to repurchase over and over again Most of you guys that follow me you guys know how I feel about Colourpop Colourpop in general you guys also know how I feel about the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So I have been just loving it so much for like everyday wear. I'm wearing it underneath my eyes right now. So they restocked them online and I bought six. I bought mainly for my kit because I wanted to have darker colors and I wanted lighter colors. So I bought the shades Medium Tan, which is actually the shade that I'm wearing right now. 
I bought the shade tan for I want to use this to like spot conceal or see how it is as a foundation I also got deep beige which I don't know the color seems kind of weird I mean it's more of like a neutral but that's deep beige I bought light neutral for my lighter girls I bought deep golden and then I also bought golden golden is the first one that I ever bought and I love all the shades that I use I just love this concealer so much it's six dollars you really can't beat this and if you want a great coverage with a very lightweight consistency I highly 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 recommend these this is probably like top three in my favorite concealers so I would highly recommend these I recently picked up two dose of colors liquid lipsticks one of them in the color knock on wood and the other one is in the color truffle I like the dose of colors liquid lipsticks I bought my first one when I actually still lived in New York the color pinky promise it's like the most neon pink you could think of why I bought that one, I don't know, but that was what I bought. When I was in Ulta, right before Christmas, I picked up Knock On Wood, and then I was online when I ordered my shampoos, and I saw a truffle. So I picked both of them up. So here is Knock On Wood, and this one is truffle. You can see truffle is a lot more of like a pink, like a neutral pink, and this is more of like a brownie nude. I like both for different reasons. I like the colors, I like the way that they wear, I like the formula. It's just a really good liquid lipstick. From Sephora, I also picked up two more of my Flirt Lashes. Most of you guys know these are my favorite lashes that they sell at Sephora. These might be my favorite lashes ever, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I just love these eyelashes. They look good on everyone's eyes. They're shorter, so you don't have to trim them, which is good because they don't poke you on the inner or outer corner. They're very lightweight. They don't have a band. They're just awesome lashes. So if you're new to lashes and you want like a good pair of lashes that you can use a couple of times and that are very easy to put on, I would highly recommend the Flirt number 30 lashes. While I was at checkout at Sephora, I picked up this charcoal nose strip, and I wasn't going to buy this, but my old boss, I was in the old Sephora that I worked in, and my old boss was like, buy skincare, buy skincare. So I was like, just give me a freaking nose strip. So I got one of these nose strips just to put on my nose. That's the only place that I really get, like, anything. I only get whiteheads. I don't normally get blackheads. Whiteheads drive me crazy, and I get them, like, right around my nose. So I bought this just so I can stick it on my nose, lift all that junk up. So yeah, and these are I think like $3. They're really cheap. So from Ulta, I picked up the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. This has coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. It's silicone, alcohol, and oil-free. This is probably my favorite spray to spray on my face before I do my makeup. It gets your face kind of sticky and it hydrates so much, I'm assuming because of the coconut water. I love the smell of this. I like the way it sets makeup. I just love this and I want to make sure that I always have it. One in my kit, but also I just, I love it for myself. So I just bought another one of these just to have because I finished my other one. And I finally picked up the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia in Soft Brown. I haven't used it too many times because Dip Brow still is kind of, uh, to me, I really like the control that I have with a pencil, and I like how natural the pencil looks. So I have to kind of keep playing with it, um, but I did get the color Soft Brown because it's my favorite color of Anastasia products. So yeah, I picked up that. Uh, this is not new to you guys if you watch my channel. This is my favorite cleanser, which is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Kale and green tea, spinach, and vitamin age prevention cleanser. This is from Youth to the People. This is an all-natural brand. It is 100% vegan, 100% um, recyclable packaging, no parabens, no added fragrance, no animal testing, no added color, no sulfates, and no phthalates. So this is what the cleanser looks like. I'm almost out of mine. I have like a drop left because Tyler just started using it and now he loves it. So he actually gave me the money for it because he went, like usually that cleanser lasts me about three months and it's been about a month and a half and it's gone. So I was like, uh, cough it up because that's like almost a $40 cleanser. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's a very large bottle and it's glass. This cleanser, like I said, usually lasts me about three months and I use it usually morning and night depending on what my routine is for that night but I love this it's very gentle on the skin it doesn't make my skin feel dry I just really like it and it's a cleanser that works so I just keep repurchasing it from Sephora I also picked up this oh, cinema secrets brush cleaner this is the small bottle just because I saw it there and I was like oh shit let me get that I have used the big one for a while and then my Sephora stopped carrying it and I just couldn't find it and I didn't feel like buying it online. Like, I don't know what it is. I hate ordering stuff online. I might be the only one, but it's fine. So I just found one of these at the checkout and I was like, oh, I'm getting that. And this is my favorite brush cleanser of all time. It comes with one of these little tubs, which I have like a hundred of these things. So I need to like not, but this is such a good cleanser. It You dip your brush, like the tip of your brush in it. It absorbs the cleanser and then you clean it off or wipe it off and it cleans your brush and dries it instantly and it smells like vanilla so I really really like this cleans your brushes super fast and you don't need a lot of it now we got some fragrance 
One of these I bought for myself like right after Christmas because I, when I worked at Sephora, we basically, if there was like a limited edition item or something that was like really, really high in demand, we weren't allowed to buy it until the end of the day. Just because we weren't allowed to take it off of the floor and put it on hold for us, we had to wait till clients bought it. So if you are familiar, this is, I don't know if, some people say Moschino, some people say Moschino. I say Moschino, I might be wrong, but this is their fragrance and it looks like a little stuffed animal. On the t-shirt it says this is not a Moschino toy. And then when you take the head off is a perfume. And I love this perfume so much. When we had, I don't even know if I could take the thing off. When we had the tester at Sephora, like at my store, I would drown myself in this perfume. It smells so good, so clean, floral. I just, I really like this perfume. And I bought this and I put it up on my shelf and it's so cute because this stuff is limited edition and the only reason that I bought it was because I was on the Sephora app like on the website and it said that they had these that came back limited edition and for only a short time so I literally opened my app clicked it added to cart and put in my information and that was it because I love this I think this was like 80 something dollars I don't remember the exact price of it but to me it's worth it and it sucks that it's a limited edition because I'll probably never be able to get it again but Oh, it smells so good. A lot of people didn't like it, but I love this perfume. I also, which this is new to my collection, I got the KKW Crystal Gardenia Citrus Perfume. I actually got this off of my old coworker, my friend Raul. He bought all three of them, and this one was the one that he least wore, so I got it from him. In my opinion, Tyler thinks that he gets like old lady vibes. He says that it smells good, but it reminds him of an old lady. In my opinion, this just smells very fresh, very clean. And floral and I love it like I love it it mixes really well with my chemistry I just I love this perfume like so much and I was scared I wanted to order one of them you couldn't smell them and then if you didn't like it there was no way to return it so I was really scared to buy it and then he let me smell his and I was like oh my god I need this one so he actually gave me his so yeah I love it thank you Raul I love this thing so much oh if you guys want me to do a perfume collection video I have a lot of new perfumes let me know down below and I'll definitely do one because that's on my list of stuff to film. I have so many things that I want to film, so just let me know down below. Now I have some clothing pieces that I wanted to show you. I'm trying to be very selective on what I buy this year and not just buy things just to buy them. Like I want to get, like I have two pairs of denim that I just bought and I want to get one more like dark pair. But other than that, like, I'm being very selective on what I buy. I want everything to be great quality. I don't just want to buy things just to buy things. Or something that's, like, super trendy. I don't want to buy, like, I don't, I just want to make sure that I'm really using the stuff that I'm buying. So the first thing that I have, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, you've heard the struggle of these. I bought a pair of Levi's, and I did kind of like a, I asked you guys on Instagram, like, which jeans were your favorite denim brand. I used to work at Diesel, and Diesel was my favorite denim for a long time. They're really expensive though, like 250, 200, 250 around there. And I still have some that I wear all the time, but I just wanted a new pair and I wanted a pair of raw denim. And if you don't know, raw denim is like that stiff ass, no stretch. Like you can see these don't stretch like at all. They're very, very hard and rough and it kind of feels like you're putting paper onto your body. But the look of these jeans is just, I love them so much. I do not regret my purchase at all. They're a skinny, but they're not like a super, super skinny, skinny. I love the way that they look cuffed. They look bomb with heels. I love these. These were a size, these are the style. Let me tell you the style. 501 skinny, and I got the size, I think 29. Normally, for reference, I normally wear like a size 27, 26, 27, but I saw on the model, it said that she was wearing a 27, and I was like, if you're a model and you're wearing a size 27, and you're probably like 6'2 and like this, what the fuck am I? Because I'm way shorter than that and I'm very thick on the bottom part of my body. And I don't even like using the word thick. It's I don't like the word thick at all. I just don't like it. And but I'm from my bottom down, I'm I'm not like this. So I got these and it took me a little bit to kind of stretch them out, but now that they're finally fitted to my body, I absolutely love them. I'll leave them down below um if any of you guys are interested. I got them off of Revolve, but you can also just get them on the Levi website. Revolve. I also picked up this bodysuit and this is from Free People. I love the way that it looked on. It's kind of hard to tell the details on the hanger, but it's like a mock neck and then the Shoulders have cutouts. It's super pretty. I love the way that it looks. It's a very nice, nice, thick material. I got this in a size small, I'm pretty sure. 
but I will link it down below. It also came in white. I just liked it a lot in black, but I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. And I got this off of Revolve as well, but you can probably get it on the Free People website. Last clothing piece I got was this little t-shirt that I got that says New York on it. I love New York. I want to move back so bad. The main reason that I bought this was because I love the color. Like it's the color that got me this like tan color. I love the way that it looks with denim. Like the way that it looks with blue denim to me just looks so good. I just, I love this shirt. It's a very soft material. This is from Forever 21. This is a size small. I think this was like eight bucks. And I think I needed like another $10 or something to get free shipping. So I was just like, oh, let me just find a little t-shirt. I found this. It's very, very soft, like extremely soft. I'm actually surprised at how soft it is. And just, it feels so good. It cuts off kind of cropped, but it's not too cropped. I just love it. I think it's such a cute like throw on t-shirt. And yeah, I'll link it down below if you guys want it. Now, a purchase that I was very excited about that most of you guys have probably already seen if you follow me on Instagram are these booties right here. I, when I say I'm obsessed, I haven't been this obsessed with a shoe in a really, really long time. I don't have a good pair of boots anymore. I used to, when I lived in New York, I had a really good pair of rain boots and like two good pairs of boot boots. Like I had a pair of like really good like Nine West wood boot. I had just really good boots, but here, you don't really wear boots that often because it's hot most of the time. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a pair just to have, just to have them. And I follow this YouTuber. I'll leave her video or her um, YouTube down below. I've talked about her before. Her name is Ashley Brooke. I stumbled upon her YouTube because back when I was going to move back to New York, like a, two years ago, I was looking up like people apartment hunting in the city on YouTube. And I came across her video and I, I've been addicted to her ever since. Like she does fashion mainly. Um, and just like lifestyle and I just I love her. She's so cute. She's so quirky. She's just the cutest thing ever So I love her style also like her style is very different from mine But she's just so fucking cool and she posted these boots and I was like I have to have those They're very different from my style because I'm very girly, but I Love the edge that these shoes have and what got me are these studs like these studded buttons right here just did it for me they have a small heel nothing too high they're extremely comfortable like i can walk miles in these boots and these are from nine west i got a size eight um just because for my boots i like to get a size eight so i can wear thick socks if i need to but i absolutely love these and i got these on sale for i think 30 percent off they were originally like a hundred and something dollars and i absolutely love these these were probably the best investment so far of 2018 and it's only been like three weeks, but I love these. Now, when I was shopping at Forever 21, I, the main reason that I went on there was just to get some cute bags. I needed some new cute crossbody bags. And if you watched my trends or my like my 2017 trends, I talked about how I don't like spending a lot of money on trendy items or even like on bags. Like I'm just, I don't know, I'm not a purse person, but I do like really cute bags. And I felt like I needed to update my little like side bag wardrobe because I have a like a camel brown one i have a blush pink one a black one and a navy blue one those are the purses that i have and i literally go through them and like use the same ones over and over again so i was like let me get some new ones and let me try to like snazz it up a little bit so the first one that i got i freaking love it's gonna be so cute in the summer is this mustard round one and it zips around i love this bag so much it's so cute i still even have the plastic in there but i just love this i feel like this would be so cute with like a navy blue and white striped little dress and this i just i think it's the cutest thing ever and it sits right there you can also hold it like this i just think it's so damn cute and this one was 1990 and i love mustard especially in the spring and summer even in the fall i love mustard period like an all black outfit and this I just love it, so I'll link I'll link everything down below. Another bag I got, I've already used a few times, and it's this little luggage brown one. It's ha it's pretty structured, so it's nice and tough. And then I love this little handle, so you can hold it like this, like if you wanted to take like a cute little picture. And then it does come with a shoulder strap. And then inside, I, I have stuff in here already, but inside, it's pretty decent size. It has a little leather pocket. On the inside, lately I've just been, I, I can't be bothered with a big purse, like I just, I don't feel like carrying a big purse. And I've literally taken all of my stuff out of my wallet and got a little card holder, I just, I'd much rather just hold something small like this. And I just feel like this is so cute, super nautical, I just, I love it. And this was I think like 20 bucks. My last purse is something a little bit different for me, but I really wanted to try switching it up. And I got this little black embroidered bag, it has red, green, blue, yellow. All these pretty colors and it's a flap bag I haven't used it yet it's black on the inside 
and it has this really cute clasp that you just turn. The strap is a chain with black leather right here. I don't know what it was about this bag that drew me to it, but I couldn't let it go. Like I wanted to wear, I wanted it so bad because I just feel like this could dress up an all black outfit, an all white outfit. It, something that just needs like some fun color. I feel like this would be perfect. Like if you're wearing like all plain like all solids and you throw this on this will give you a little bit of character it was $24.90 guys so that was everything in this haul I hope you guys enjoyed this I know this was a lot of stuff and this video is at 25 minutes right now so hopefully I can shorten it if not I hope you like long videos but I hope you guys enjoyed this um, let me know down below if you think there's anything I need to pick up if you've tried any Levi's just let me know whatever you want to talk about leave it down below I really like responding to you guys and talking to you guys in the comments that's how I start my day every single day please subscribe if you guys haven't already we're already at 6200 subscribers which blows my mind like check out the links down below if there's anything that you do want or that you're interested in and I'll see you guys in my next video bye